I started working with Climatopia after this class in the fall of 2019. We were tasked with making a game board, any kind of game board to explain climate change. And we made six different versions of the game, went through the whole design process and eventually landed with what is now Climatopia. Our original game plan was to have it be a traditional board game. We were going to get it printed on the like really hard cardboard that could be all folded up and have plastic pieces and laminated game cards and all this stuff. And we kind of got through the first round of kind of finalizing what we wanted the game to look like. And we, we paused and we said, hey, we're teaching sustainability and ways to combat climate change. And here we are contributing to it by putting out all this plastic into the world. So kind of went back to the drawing board, had to change up what the game board looked like and what our pieces were going to be made out of. It's really just been a trial and error of what works best and what is going to be the most sustainable and support our goals and our visions for the future at the same time. So this, this is the first kind of iteration of the game board that I drew kind of on the iPad. We played this version of the game over Zoom all summer. Um, and now our creative team has made all these different versions and they're adding art and they're adding the creativity to it that's going to make it really colorful, really fun for kids, and really shows all the different disasters that we're trying to highlight. I think probably the most challenging part about the board game is taking the really, really hard science and translating it into a form that kids can understand. So as scientists, we learn all these things with big words and complicated graphs and data in our science classes, and then you turn around and you try to put that in language that a third or fourth grader can understand, and you get a little bit stuck. So it's been, it's been really challenging to try to condense it and translate it to that level, but it's also been really cool to see our teams working really hard to do that.